Yo guys, what's going on? It's Rose here, bringing guys a brand new video for the PBAL. We are facing off against the Pokemon Professor, coach of the Drunken Fist Sijuai. Um, very excited for this match for our Week 7 game. Uh, he has a very, very scary team. I've played him a couple times, and he's a pretty solid player. So definitely excited to play him. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into the team builder. If you guys have been keeping up with our season, you would know that our team is Gouging Fire, Mew, Skarmory, Superior, Donphan, Terra Vaporeon, Terramis Magius, Slitherwing, Tinkaton, Hisuian Quillfish, and Terra Munchlax. Whereas my opponent has Garchomp, Quackleball, Iron Moth, Terra Jolteon, Terra Mesprit, Mimikyu, Iron Boulder, Screamtail, Rotom Wash, and Bramblegast. A lot of big threats on my opponent's team. Garchomp is definitely a huge one that I'm looking out for this week. Quackleball can be a problem if I let it get away from me. Iron Moth, I'm not expect I'm expecting it to come, but I'm not really too worried about how to deal with it. Um, I have a lot of things on my team that can deal with it pretty well. Jolteon is a problem. Um, if it is a Specs Jolteon, I can definitely lose the game pretty much immediately. This thing is a huge, huge threat for me. Uh, Mesprit, I didn't face off too much in Mox, but I definitely think it could come if it's like a Rocks U-Turn, you know, Thunder Wave kind of utility set. Um, Mimikyu, I think, is going to come up, I think, with a plus two player off is super hard for my team to switch into, and my opponent's going to want to take advantage of that. Iron Boulder, I do think, kind of comes as well. I think for the same reason of Mimikyu, where it's like plus two Mighty Cleaves and close combats are hard for my team to switch into. Screamtail, I think, can show up, because I think if he wants to stop certain things from setting up, uh, bringing them on with Thunder Wave is going to come, so I think either Screamtail or Mesprit's going to show up, um, one of the two. They kind of both fulfill the same role in this game. Um, where it's like rocks, you know, uh, Thunder Wave. The only difference is, you know, Screamtail can wish up and everything. Rotom Wash, I'm not expecting this to show up just because, in general, Superior is really good in this game, and I don't think he's going to want to bring something that just gets fucked by Superior. Um, and then I'm thinking, and honestly, I don't think Bramble Gas is going to come up. I love Bramble Gas so much, it's one of my favorite mons in Gen 9, but I just don't expect it to come this week. But let's go into what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. First off, we have Hjalmar, our Gouging Fire with the Lumberry this week, Heat Crash, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Dragon Dance. With a plus one, we basically outspeed everything, barring any sort of Scarfers or Booster Energy Boys. Um, with the defensive investment, we take a non-banded, non-booster attack, Mighty Cleave from the Iron Boulder from Full, so we can uh, live the hit if he's faster and Earthquake it and get rid of it. Um, otherwise, Lumberry is really here, uh, just in case of Thunder Wave on the... Uh, on the Mesprit or on the Screamtail. Um, honestly, that's really it in terms of that. Um, Heat Crash, two hit KOs, physically defensive Screamtail at plus one. Um, Dragon Claw hits this team super hard, and then Earthquake hits whatever uh, my stab does not. So it's honestly super easy for me to just get a Dragon Dance up early. Uh, that's kind of my plan with this mod is to set up early, get a Dragon Dance or two up, and see what I can uh, what I can do to this team. Next up, we're bringing base department our Mew with the loaded dice this week. Psychic Fangs, Icicle Spear, Bullet Seed, and Dragon Dance. 144 HP, 252 attack, Adamant Nature with 112 speed. Um, with the speed, we are outpacing, I believe, everything. Uh, we're, I believe we're outpacing uh, Quackleball. Uh, Adam, I don't think it's Adamant Quackleball after a plus one. Uh, we, we pretty much outpace everything at plus one. Kind of the same thing with Gouging Fire. Um, obviously, if there is a booster or scarf then that's going to change the thing you know that's going to change it a little bit but for the most part plus one we outspeed everything uh psychic things is super just kind of free into my opponent's team uh he has three psychic types so outside of that um psychic things hits really really hard um but yeah if into those psychic types i mean between mesprit boulder and screen tail uh icicle spear and bullet seed at plus one is going to do some decent damage um It'll do, it'll, it'll do a good chunk, especially that boulder is going to, I believe, just straight up die to the bullet seed at plus one. Uh, it will, and then it, even if it's a neutral uh, hit for the bullet seed, then it might anyways. Um, but next up, we're bringing Superior. I was talking about it earlier, and I'm bringing it. We're bringing Miracle Seed this week on Slytherin with the Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, Glare, and Leech Seed. Uh, we are running 240 speed, 252 uh, special attack, 16 HP, and a Timid Nature. With this uh, speed investment, we are outpacing max speed Screamtail. Um, if he wants to do like a max HP, max speed kind of thing, this also will outspeed the Iron Moth. Um, two Leaf Storms just hit so, so hard into this team. Uh, and then whatever, you know, we don't want to, uh, whatever we can't hit with the, with the Leaf Storm, then Dragon Pulse is going to hit for a lot of damage as well. Um, Glare definitely hits super, super hard. It, it, well, it's not hit super hard. It's, uh, it's very helpful in this game, um, to stop potential, uh, Scale Shot Garchomp, to stop that potential, uh, Aqua Stepping, Quaka Ball. Um, there's a lot of things. If he wants to bring in the Iron Moth offensively into this, uh, and if he's booster speed, 
then I can get the glare off and then, you know, obviously our job is a lot easier. Um, but otherwise, this mod is really here for utility this week, um, but it can hit very, very, very hard this week if uh, if my opponent fails to let, you know, fails to deal with it properly. Next up, we're bringing Don Fampus this week with the Custat Berry, Stealth Rock, EQ, Knockoff, and Rapid Spin, Max HP, Max Attack, Adamant Nature. Nothing too special when it comes to the spread on this thing. Um, Earthquake is so free into my opponent's team. Uh, obviously, he has the Levitator in Mesprit and in Run and Wash. Um, but if I can get uh, an Earthquake off on something, you know, pretty easily outside of that, um, we actually, so with our, with this investment, with this Max Attack Adamant, uh, after we break the Mimikyu's Disguise, in the same turn, it is a roll heavily in my favor to Oko with Earthquake. Um, Knockoff is pretty free into a lot of this team, because there's obviously a few Psychic types, um, but then it's just getting rid of any sort of boots or Rocky Helmets or anything like that is super nice as well. Um, hopefully we can get the Custat Berry to pop this week. Uh, either get using it to get up another Earthquake or a Stealth Rock is something that we can definitely hopefully take advantage of. Um, but otherwise, honestly, this mod can do some decent work this week. Uh, I'm not expecting it to claim a ton of kills, but I'm, you know, I'm expecting it to do some uh, decent damage into this team and hopefully get rocks up. Next up, we have Did You Know the Vaporeon, who has been kind of our MVP this season. Uh, she's been killing it this season. With the boots, we're running Skull, the Luring Voice, Flip Turn, and Wish with the Terra Ground. Max Physical Defense. Um, this is like my pseudo Iron Boulder check. Um, honestly, I, I can take the hits pretty well. Uh, if it's plus two, uh, I do get two at KO'd from pretty much anything but Mighty Cleave with Terra. Um, but outside of that, no, this thing hits super, super hard. Um, hopefully, we can uh, take advantage of it this week. But honestly, yeah, Scald and Alluring Voice is really free into most of my opponent's team. Um, Scald and Alluring Voice just covers almost everything on this team, and we're not going to be too worried about what else uh, what, uh, what else is there. Um, flip turn to get some decent moment, uh, momentum in case of an emergency, and wish just to be able to either, you know, get it for myself or to pass it along to something like the Gouging Fire or the Mew. Um, but hopefully we are able to pull off the win this week. We're on a three-game win streak, which is amazing. Um, but next up, we're bringing Miss Magius as well with the Choice Scarf this week, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, and Destiny Bond with the Fairy Terra, um, with just max, uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid Nature. Um, I didn't really go too in-depth with the spread this week because, honestly, uh, with the speed, I outpace the Garchomp naturally, uh, so it's, I don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, Terra Fairy, uh, Miss Magius actually hardwalls Garchomp if he's not bringing, like, Iron Head or something, so it's definitely something we can keep an eye on. Um... But yeah, honestly, super excited for this game. Um, we're on, like I said, we're on a three-game win streak, so hopefully we can uh, pull off another win this week and keep that streak going. Um, but otherwise, that is going to do it for this team builder. Uh, let's head right into the battle. Um, but before.